This video consists of a simple implementation of a conveyor belt that we made uh, to work in conjunction with a bow board uh, for a manufacturing automation uh, assembly line implementation. Uh, we have here uh, the setup that we are using for the conveyor belt. As you can see, uh, you have a frame that houses a shaft on one end and we have another frame here uh, which houses another shaft which is connected to a servo motor. Uh, this uh, continuous servo is provided by parallax. Once this has been uh, implemented, we have used a, a belt that's made uh, solely out of sandpaper and at the bottom you can see that it uses duct tape to hold it together. Uh, we have used duct tape uh, to take most of the tension of the belt when it is uh, stretched out like this. The sandpaper um, provides most of the friction that's required for uh, transferring material over it. Um, as I mentioned earlier, this implementation is being used uh, in conjunction with a bow boat. Uh, the bow boat has been uh, fitted with a gripper that carries uh, the raw material uh, that will be dropped off at this end and by operating the uh, conveyor belt, the raw material will be transferred from this end slowly down along this line to, to, uh, to this end. Uh, in addition to this whole assembly, we also have two sensors, one over here at the beginning and one over here at the end. These sensors are known as sharp object sensors and uh, these are available uh, if you just search online uh, or in Google you'll probably be able to find it. Uh, these are um, usually used as uh, distance measurement uh, object sensors but here we have used it as uh, object detectors. So once the material uh, is placed over here this object sensor detects the presence of that material and turns off the raw material and awaits instruction from the bow board uh, saying that it has uh, released the material and it is uh, clear to proceed uh, operating the conveyor belt. Once the conveyor belt has been started, the material goes down here. The speed of the conveyor belt uh, is variable to represent any kind of manufacturing process that uh, goes on in between. So the intent is to optimize the speed based on uh, different manufacturing processes as the user may deem uh, uh, necessary and once the product has finished, I mean the raw material has finished uh, all the processing, it reaches this end where another object sensor detects it and stops the conveyor belt so that the finished product can be removed by the same bow board. Uh, as you can see, the sensors and the servo motor has been connected to uh, uh, development board which is supplied by uh, parallax. The development board itself has a microcontroller uh, which works on a BS2 platform. The uh, BS2 platform is also provided by uh, parallax. Now we also see two ADCs uh, which detect the signal sent by the object sensor and by converting the analog signal from the object sensor into digital data we are able to obtain information of whether an object is present in front of the sensor or not. Uh, and using good uh, programming practice you are able to control effectively the motion as well as uh, the speed of the conveyor belt. Now that uh, the, the functional implementation of the conveyor belt has been understood, let's just see how the uh, operation is uh, done. By turning on the conveyor belt, you can see that the belt sa starts moving. So the rate of motion uh, we have calibrated at around uh, 2 minutes for one end to the other end. So if a material is placed here, it takes approximately 2 minutes to get to the other end. Uh, as I explained earlier, uh, the sensor detects the presence of a raw material. As you can see, when an object is placed, the conveyor belt comes to a standstill. Now it awaits instruction from 
the uh, bow bolt to execute the rest of the motion. Uh, now, since the bow bolt is not uh, communicating with uh, the controller, we'll just remove it off from in front of the object sensor to uh, simulate it. Uh, by placing it outside the field of the sensor, you can see the conveyor resumes normal operation and the conveyor belt moves out. For those who are uh, really interested in making a conveyor belt, uh, I, we actually came up, we came across a difficult time searching for good material for implementing this. Uh, as explained earlier, we have used sandpaper and uh, of, of continuous line of duct tape to implement this. This is a very effective and simple way of doing it. Uh, it is also very economical. Uh, instead of using any uh, rubber uh, belt or any other kind of expensive material, this is a very simple and uh, robust implementation for a belt. Now that you can see that the raw material is slowly approaching the other object sensor, it should be able to detect the presence of the, raw, the finished product and stop on its own. Yep, as we expected, uh, expected the raw material has come to a stop. Now, uh, using the bow board, we are able to lift it off of the conveyor belt. And as soon as we lift it off, we can see that uh, the conveyor belt resumes its operation. Uh, so, like we mentioned earlier, this is a very easy and uh, uh, effective way means of implementing a conveyor belt. Thank you.